Well, hello there. I'm Barb. This is my channel, Be Rex PR Goddess Fun. And welcome to Big Hair. This is the three, third day. And I just, again, put a little bit of leave-in conditioner cream to fluff it. And uh, we're kind of happy with the volume. I do need a trim, but that's besides the point. So, <clears throat> as I sit here in my robe and pajamas underneath, that I just don't feel like showing to the world because I am a modest girl. Anyway, welcome to my channel. It's my old email address and my old Instagram handle, Brex the PR Goddess One. And recently I did some unboxings and some shopping. I've had some time. It's like, you know, checking in with you guys to try a few things. Let's start with the few things that came with my uh, Greco Roman inspired Athena March. 2023 ipsy bag the, the the regular glam bag i don't get the the special ones anymore because they're just honestly a, a mixed bag so i absolutely love the design because i love the little greek goddess on the coin of the zipper pull also the bag that i had of this design that's plain silver with a ribbon zipper pull is like the most flexible and versatile i have it over here i use it for everything and uh you see what i mean they're kind of cut of the same cloth now send me one of those in a rose gold. Like I'm not a pink person. This robe was free with purchase. I don't set out to engage in pink. However, if the right pink should fall into my lap, I'm not as opposed to it as I used to be. So there's that. If you saw my unboxing, you saw that there was two blushes, a mini nail polish, a face cream, a hand cream, some lip liners, a liquid lipstick, a bunch of palettes some concealers and uh this multi-purpose lip and cheek tint let's talk about what i have not tried yet i have not tried the blushes nor the nail polish or the hyaluronic acid serum because i think this is going to be awesome and this is just gonna like go travel with me i did not try one of the two lip liners yet because they were very close in color so the one that i did use is called Lightyear. and where did she go where did she go she was like right here Light ear. Oh, light ear, where are you, my darling? This is from a couple months back in one of my Ipsy bags. I do love it. It lives at my desk. Well, I don't know where anything is because everything just fucking falls around. Okay, let's see. Hold on. Light ear. Yes, this is the one I use because the tip's all funky now. See? If you look, I've like blunted part of it. So, yeah. So, that is the lip liner I'm wearing now. Just to even it out a little bit. <sighs> and this is the lipstick, which is called Symbol. And it is very, very pink on camera. In person, it has more of a nude undertone to it, which I like. Because while I have nothing against a pink lip, most pink doesn't look right on me. Maybe that's my real reason for not liking pink. Like, I know my colors, and most pinks aren't them. I've got an olive to golden undertone. Pink looks funky on me, in my opinion. But, you know, hey, that's just Barb. That's just Barb. All right. Um, okay, this one had the world's worst seal on it. But it smells amazing, which is, this is the Nutty Vanilla. Really enjoying it. And uh, take some of what's left. And it just does a great job. I have very dry hands. Like, yeah. So I'm very happy with this. This is going to get a positive review. And this is very comfortable. And most of it stayed on, even when I ate a burger today. And cheesesteak egg roll minis. Like one of them. And cut up Bavarian pretzel sticks. Like the soft pretzels. With like the mustard sauce and the hot cheese dip sauce. Yeah, I went out with my husband. We had like pub food went to one of the local taverns it was the sitting duck tavern because our other usual the oxford house tavern was close to the public because they were hosting a private event aka like a wedding or something girl you do you or sirs or whoever's that's fine so that's where we were i did my makeup because i wanted to and i also originally again a lot of times when i do my makeup it is oh i'm just gonna but then it's like, well, if I'm going to do eyeliner, I might as well do like a simple shadow. So what we did for simple shadow this time is we tested this bad boy. 
So we used this more white tone eyeshadow base, which is the M2U NYC brand. It's an indie. And it's not the squeeze tube. It's like the, the doe foot applicator. And you can see how white it looks. Like, see, it's not a clear base. Because I've been ba bouncing between this base and the Thrive Cosmetics base, because these are the two I have downstairs. I have not been doing my makeup upstairs lately. I don't know why. And as you can tell, this one is more sheer. Do you see the difference? Yeah. So even like this one here, you saw I rubbed it in just a little bit. It kind of shears out with minimal. This one is way more opaque. I'm not putting any more on. I'm just, even when you shake it out, it stays whiter. So there you go. Gives you a little background. So today, I wanted to use this, but I was like, this is almost empty. And yeah, I could kill it, but let's try this one. Because the colors, gotta have a cat fucking around underneath. Always a cat. Can't sit here in peace. <sighs> That's why I'm glad I guess in a way I didn't get to become a mom. I should be happy. So we had the Wander Beauty Eye and Face Palette. This is the Getaway Eye and Face Palette. And this is in the shade Sunkiss. They had a darker one. And I was kind of like, I don't know if I should have got the lighter or the darker. So these are the colors. As you can tell, they have been dipped into. I used all four eyeshadows today to test them. And all three colors for the face. So let's talk a little about it. This is giving me some very nice little bit of bronzer, little bit of sculpting without being super heavy because no matter how light my touch is and how much I blend or do underpainting for some weird reason if I put on bronzer I feel like or or contour of any sort I feel like I've got mud on my face actual mud it like always to me it looks dirty so there's that but I tried it and I put it on with two different brushes I had a little light dab 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 and then I blended really hard with this one and that is the uh Flawless Face Brush from e.l.f. But I also, I like this guy because he's similar in shape to a flat one I have that's the same size. Upstairs from a different brand. The upstairs one with the flat edge instead of the rounded angle is from Shop Miss A, the online dollar store, AOA Studio. And this one is from Delium Tools. This is their number 939 bam pink bamboo brush. And it's great because this helps me carve that if I want to do that kind of full snatch which I did because again I had to test this color normally I don't engage in bronzer seeking activity so that's the cut we did and yeah it makes my nose look skinny which is great because it used to be skinny when I was young but that's the secret when you get old everything continues to grow your nose and your ear cartilage so that's why older people tend to have that look to them so there's that I also used my chic pro angle blender for some deeper blends through here and for the blush i had applied it with one of my little blush brushes where did you go my friend you were here two seconds ago it's the one that came with this little set from real techniques so this is the eyeshadow one and you can tell how little he is and there's a matching blush one who's here hiding somewhere in the junk because i didn't clean I hate to say it, I think I have to just accept the fact that I must be a slob. I must be an abject slob. Because my makeup bag, here we go, is just thrown all in there. This guy. As you can tell, that's the color. So, do I like it? Does it look good on me? Yeah, I felt like confident. I feel like, oh my god, I look like a clown. So even though this is like a really light set of colors, and at first online I was like, oh, I don't know if they're too light. But the other ones were a little too, like wine toned and I was like that blush is gonna look horrible on me even I mean like I have this weird like I'm tan enough to not look quote-unquote Caucasian but yet certain colors that look deeper and would look really great on you know more deeper toned skins almost make me look like I'm trying to do blackface or something and that is never my intention I have cousins of every shade of the rainbow from this color white you know the lobster people that turn red in the sun to like Miles Davis and all skins are beautiful. I just want to find the makeup that works for my skin tone. And some days my skin is like, we're going to give you undertones like a Caucasian girl. Other days it's like, let's remember you have ethnic roots. So nothing matches. So I took a shot on this one and I think it went pretty well. Now I did use this highlight in the inner corners and there was my kitty cat sneezing. He has allergies. I also used it as my 
brow comb, uh, highlight through here above the eyebrows. Now, mind you, I am oily. Put a little bit here at the cupid's bow, tip of the nose, up through here. And the brushes that I use to apply it, because I even was going to dip in with fingers. But it worked out pretty well because I had this a la mar brush if it wants to not fight with me. This little mini flat fan. This is absolutely perfect. And I just... And... See? Look at that. Love it. I used a bunch of assorted Ipsy level brushes, you know. And that's how I did this one for my full crease, this real pale shade, which is called Nude Beach. And then Chateau to deepen the crease. And then I put Yacht, this super warm color with a very thin brush. Run like a pencil line to cut crease and then in the corners. And then Bungalow, who's a little bit lighter, with the finger center out. And then, yeah, we... um. We did some eyeliner, and then I tried these funky-ass, and that's all I can really say, funky-ass things for lashes. So let's talk about that. Oh, my undershadow it, it liner, it is literally cobalt color from the NYX gel liners. These are sharpening. It's a little dull. So I ran it through with a Q-tip, and then I put more of this same highlight here to clean up the edges. <coughs> So, so far, do I like this palette? It's a happy surprise. I don't like how small it is. I thought it was going to be a little bit more like, hmm, maybe not. Like, I'm not going to lie. That bronzer is a little bit on the ashy side. But just kind of like the one that's in my phase zero palette. I wanted to touch up with my kimchi Thaler bronze, which I did the other day with a different one that I was using. This is way more summer color. It's going to be way too dark for me right now. So I looked at it and I was like, oh, no. Okay, then I had really, really, really had it in my head that I was going to figure out how to open this guy, which is my KVD Beauty Tattoo Good Apple Balm, whatchamacallit, a concealer. Because yes, oh, those would be the vitamins I forgot I had on that. Fucking A. Hold on. Yeah, it doesn't matter. We're on the floor already. Because this thing just would not open yesterday. Ah, we finally got it open. I guess the secret is don't have hand cream on your hands most days. So it has this weird little funky applicator, which I kind of wanted to play with. But I wound up using my... It smells a little like paint. Well, that'll be interesting. Maybe I'll use them tomorrow. I mean, this is the full size. I got it for 12 bucks instead of 38 so or 23 or whatever. And the shade that they that I ordered was, because of what they had, Neutral 129. I'm tempted to just go for it and fucking check it here now. I mean, yes, I have foundation on already. I don't judge, but... Just to see what it looks like. Because under my eyes, I get this real dark blue-purple shading. And uh, I'm kind of sort of sick of it. Now... I could use my little Instagram one. I don't want to do full, whatchamacallit, eyes. And I have a cat looking at me from my husband's desk. Because remember, her desks run back to back. That did not look bad. I mean, like, I would feel comfortable wearing that. Okay, so that's a plus. And it feels moisturizing, but not cakey and gooey. Because that's kind of my problem. But I'm going to just pick this up real fast before Catboy comes running around. Hold on. Oh, man. I got to get rid of shit. Because I can just put shit to the side, and then I go, I'll look for where it's going to live later. And then I get to, like, this point. Oh, by the way, in addition to random makeup, I wanted to show you a book I got at a book exchange. On this day in history, shit went down. It's by James Fell. He has a master's degree in history. I cannot wait to read this book. It talks about different little blurbs for every day of the calendar year. Obviously, they all didn't happen in the same year. I mean, this is history, for fuck's sake. You have shit that happened in AD 41 and shit that happened in 1992 and 2010. So this is my new read. And yes, somebody had already spilled coffee or caramel or anything on it, so i got to kind of wipe that shit down and hope it comes up. But until then, I mean... Not bad at a book exchange. I'm going to bring more books back. I mean, like, it talks about, like, 
this real cool blurb. I'll put the photos up on my Instagram. So if you're following me on social media, please check my Insta. I'm also going to put some stills of me trying to figure out how this hair looks. And yes, I already know I have salt and pepper or gray or whatever. I need to like decide if I'm going to let it continue to go gray or not. But I digress. So I had wanted to try this, which was the one size, because... Their powder foundation worked really well, even though it was supposed to be way too pale, according to the, this is what it looks like in here. It's a similar, but this one has a back side, unlike the other one. But let's just go there, because I didn't use it yet. But let's just see how the color matches. I was surprised that their new, uh, sorry, medium neutral one worked for my skin for the powder foundation. And for this one, I think I'm gonna use my, where are you? I know you're here somewhere. My little dear somewhere. Ah, here you go. My 4D Sigma. Oh, where'd my mirror go? <laughs> here we go. I didn't do real lashes today. I tried something a little different. Oh, this is nice. I am my laundry just saying. But I'll wait until after we finish this. This one feels like it dries faster. The other one feels a little wetter. And I'm putting this on now because I can go ahead and like toss it if I need to. Cat, really? Really, cat. You don't you don't need to drink my water cup. That's why it's it's covered. Oh man, cat children, they're so cute, man. Like, yeah, get you some. So yeah. That's what it looks like. That's what the other one looks like. Now mind you, yes, they are on a powdered base of concealer and foundation of the Hold on. You just have to be with Mama. Come with Mama. The, um... Jesus, I lost my trail of thought. My Juvia's Place, which I had worn yesterday. I decided, fuck it. I'm going to try a minimal squirt today because let me just tell you, first of all, this is a tube that... Yeah, this is... I was just putting this away from yesterday. It was sitting half open. So this doesn't give you a pump and it doesn't give you the full thing to just... Yeah, so there's no way to really regulate how much you squeeze out. So less is way more with this because yesterday I did just a little too much and I felt like I looked like a pasty face. So, yeah, we didn't want to repeat that at all. What the fuck is wrong in here? Just get in there. So this shade is shade 530 Ibiza or Ibiza. I say Ibiza because I am not from Spain. I am Hispanic, but I'm not from Spain, so we pronounce our letters. And then this shade is J18 from or Magic Concealer 18. And this is what I was wearing under my eyes. This, I think, is more similar in feel under my eyes. It's like, this one feels moister, but it doesn't feel wet. Because, like, I've had the ones from, from Tarte, the creaseless, that literally feel fucking wet. Like, I cannot do the creamy shape tape it's slime on me it just literally like the good bomb i can't it's for dry skin it just rolls right off i have oily skin it's like putting a fry an egg to fry on a pan that has oil or a non-stick pan it's just gonna slide right off but this one is not too bad i think the one size one feels a little like it dries down to the touch better but i mean like i i don't have any problems with any of these so i'm very happy to report on those and we're going to see how this wears because I'm going to wear it until after I finish doing laundry and it's time to like go to sleep. You know, well, take this off. We're not Dolly Parton. We don't, we don't sleep in makeup. Yeah. Skincare, baby. Skincare. Okay. Then I tried this mascara from Pacifica, the Actis, Activist Volume and Curl Mascara. I got this as part of my recent National Lash Day 2023 bag for free, the $65 and up. It's a nice glass tube, which is fucking heavyweight, and it's beautiful. And I had ideas of promise for the actual wand. It has like a flat edge, a curved edge, and it's regular bristles. This didn't do jack shit on my lashes. I tried four coats to the point where I was like, okay, this is not going to work. So I'm going to try it on my, my patient, a.k.a. my college best friend whose wedding makeup I'm doing like she and I used to like share clothes so like she I used it once it's not gonna ick her out if I have to I'll use a different wand but I just don't like it at all the formula didn't do shit and the wand felt like lackluster but I kind of have that feeling about this high impact Clinique one that I actually paid $15 for instead of 22 from them extreme volume mascara 
Now this one has one of those long, thick, plasticky bristle. This also didn't do much. It did more than that, but I don't think there's much other than maybe Great Lash Mascara with the original brush where the, the bristles are this set this far apart and they don't even touch your lashes. That's the only thing I think could do less than that Pacifica mascara. And it's sad because I like Pacifica's line in general. Their eyeshadows are hit or miss for me. And their liquid lipstick never dries down. It's transfer friendly. It like it goes everywhere. It It's like the Nick Cannon of li liquid lipstick. It want to be with everybody. But yes. So not my favorite. Contemplating taking this one back. I'm just not thrilled. I'm not a fan. And so what we did for lashes was we tried this stuff. This is the Impress Press-On Falsies that are pre-bonded, no glue, and you put them on under with this long-tailed wand. And I got the natural length, which had some long and some medium. So the medium row was here and the long row was here. And I wanted to do two and two on each eye. So I wanted to start with two long and then two medium and call it a day. These little motherfuckers. First of all, you can't pick them up without trying to lose hairs in here. Like I have, I'll show you. This one here, there is a spare hair just kind of floating around there. Ah, and then they tell you, well, don't touch it and this, this, and that. And like, well, it sticks to everything except your la your uh, under your lashes like you're supposed to. And we can try because I'm at this point. This is going the fuck back. This is fucking garbage. So let's, let's try this now, shall we? Where'd this mirror go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not falling. You're fine. Now he's all sitting up all scared. You're supposed to grab it, but not too far down so you don't touch the glue. Because, like, that's not helpful. And you're supposed to do it. That doesn't tell you if you should put your mascara on before or after. I always do my mascara before my lashes. And then they kind of, like, bond to the mostly dry mascara in addition to the glue. So I never had a problem with it before. But, yeah, this was not the day. This was not that day. So let's try this over this eye. It's supposed to be... Looking underneath with a mirror and kind of like stick it to your lashes. But then you have to try and like make it go. But then when you try and touch it, look, it sticks to the, the wand again. So then you get pissed off and you go, okay, let's try this then. Let's let's put it back on this thing. In other words, if you have no patience like me, um, they, these are not the lashes for you. So I don't know how the fuck. I don't care if they're on top or underneath. Little bunches like this, if this was all we had for fake lashes, I would go lashless. Let me try this one more time. Okay, so it kind of sits. Uh, it looks like it's working. But then the other time, I was like, all of a sudden, something would just start like hanging and drooping in my eye. And I'm like, I don't need this today. So then you try and go in because if you touch it with this, it's going to stick to it. So at least I'm like, all right, let's see if we can do this. So as of right now, you can see I have a bunch under here. I don't know how secure they are or not. They don't lift and bother me like other ones, but like getting them on was a hassle. Oh, yeah. I also put a ring of brown eyeliner there to kind of marry the brown to the bronze. And yeah, this is what the eyes look like up close. So not thrilled with these. And also you would think they look really fucking long. For the job they're doing, but you know, I don't know. I mean, like, can you see them? If maybe I should have tried them without any liner, any anything, and I'll try them again one more time. But I really do not recommend these. Not if you don't have patience, and I don't own patience, so I'm not that person. I cannot sit here and tell you in good conscience. Oh my God, these are amazing! Because I would rather fight with one strip that's all connected, and now I got like glue all through here, and again. They come pre-glued. I didn't even have to add glue. So I'm not quite sure where this glue all over is coming from. In all, does not recommend. I just don't. They're a pain in the ass. Like they had potential. Oh, yeah. And as you can tell. I, oh, this is the first time I actually powdered my... Uh, that. Well, you can tell because this is the, the one that was almost clear from Thrive. And it's pretty much dry to the touch. But you can put stuff on it and it'll just have enough grab to stick. Just a hair sticky. This shit still is wet and it looks like concealer. I just want to use it up. I mean, it's nice because it does brighten some of the lighter shadows that don't have as much pigment because it gives it a paler background to still do its job. However, I do like the Thrive or the ones that go on somewhat clear. 
Um, the white has its purpose, but not for everything. And I did use the white here just to try and make sure these colors could pop. So like, would I take this and make it like my purse emergency makeup? Like if I went to work one day with no makeup and I found out I had to go somewhere? Probably. Like, I mean, you know, I can do a full face and I think it comes out okay. But I don't know. So yeah, so this is my ups and downs of my bipolar. Well, I don't want to say bipolar. I think it sounds like I'm making fun of things, but like, dude, these... They had to show me up in person just now because I spent literally 45 minutes fighting with these little motherfuckers. And this is the answer I got that finally, finally, the same ones that were damaged that I fought with finally went on. I don't know if they're going to actually let you restick and rewear the same ones or not. I don't, I don't even have an answer for you. And this package opens like shit. Like seriously, people. I'm going to have to recycle this, but this case is not even really like user friendly and there's no instructions inside. So I kind of have to keep the box and it says with clean hands, use your fingers to remove the clusters by gently lifting them off, starting with the band side. Like, how do you, it has pictures of how to put it on, but not like how to take it off. Because if you see in these pictures, you're supposed to hold them and stick it on under and it's supposed to just stick and be happy. It doesn't stick and be happy. It took a lot of time to get there. But, I mean, I think it did a pretty good job for looking mostly cool. Like, I didn't look too crazy. So, yeah. So, that's kind of where I'm at. Oh, you know what? I just, I totally still want to test this. I'm not going to test the blush portion. Am I? Am I going to go there? Oh, let's just touch it. Let's just touch it. I know I just touched my nose because it's itching. So, quick, before we open that, let's get some hand sanitizer. Which is why I keep hand creams here all the time because I'm only sanitizing the hands. And also anything with a pot, I usually like to touch with something like this. So, fuck it. No, it is going on over powder and foundation, but let's just... It smells interesting. Or is it just my hand sanitizer? I think I could be happy with that color. Let's see. It feels slightly creamy. I'm going to try and see what it looks like on the hand. Like, I could put that on my lips. It kind of looks like what I'm wearing now. Okay. So, I guess if I was really hard on it. This says lip and cheek. There is nothing that says I can't put a small dab on top of some shadow primer. See? Look at that and make a monochromatic look if I was really desperate and I had left the house with nothing but this and maybe a little bit of like concealer stick or something like put it all over your face and make the stick you know your foundation and then put this on all over for your color and hope to god you have an eyeliner somewhere there you go but I do like this I'm gonna have to see how it wears on the lips but so far I think it looks pretty on the cheek because, you know, obviously this is a whole different blended color. And as you can tell, this side didn't have any color and neither did right here. So now we're looking at the color. Let me just. Yeah, that's pretty. Are we liking? So what are your thoughts? Did I pick good shit? Have I tested good shit? What would you do? Would you take back those mask, those little wispies? I mean, it's less than half of them are gone. And like, I'm really pissed at the, the way they, they fail to adhere Oh, man, I don't want to be that person, but I do not need a house full of shit that don't work. And I, if I can get my money back, uh, why not? So there is that. Other than that, I'm going to go finish doing my laundry and finish getting ready for my Sunday night to become my Monday morning. And maybe even have a little time to read my On This Day in History, Shit Went Down. Available wherever you can find a book. I don't think it's out of print because this thing literally... BFW printing. Oh my god. And it was printed in Canada. Oh, it has an ebook too in 2020. Well, and that's special. This means it's a recent book. You should be able to find it. Go do you a favor. Do yourself a favor. Grow your brain. Get a book. Read it. Repeat. I'm gonna go. Ciao, babies. Oh, yeah, before we go, thank you for watching. Come back. Do your button thing down there so the YouTube algorithms know that you're happy here with me. And uh, other than that, stay alive, basically, and out of prison so you can watch more of me and hang out with me because I can't go visit you in prison because I don't know who you are. Anyway, prison is not a good place for anyone. Stay free. Stay healthy. 
do something positive for the human humans around you, the animals around you, and the world around you. Because Lord knows, people doing shit that sucks is so much more common. All right. Peace.